All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Squad League. Two matches today. We've got a full house of commentating staff. We've got myself, Dr. Big Money, Doc East, Matt, and Blitza on today. Welcome, guys. Hello. What's up? What's up? Hey. So our uh, first match of the day here is Rip versus Ghost. We'll be playing two rounds on OP First Light. AAS down to 100 tickets. If you guys have been following, you will recognize that. We've been playing this map quite a bit lately. And uh, we've got these two teams facing off. It's going to be uh, quite a bloodbath. We're still in quarterfinals here. Like I said, we've got this match between uh, Rip and Ghost. And then we've got IB versus HSG later this evening. And after that, we'll be out of quarterfinals. So we're getting ready to go. Chad, you got that queued up for them? Q uh, yep. Well, yeah. All right, there we go. So we'll be following Rip playing U.S. Army for the uh, first round here. And this should be a fun one. All right, so how Commander Comms over there? Are they, uh, they using a bunch? Oh, I They've had get... a little bit at the start. Nothing too um, major from the get-go. Copy. These guys are definitely using Commander Comms. Yeah, they seem to already have a plan, though, that they're uh, enacting now. They also seem to be holding back a couple of squads in reserve as well. Yeah. For when they, they get that yep. first bob up. Uh, RIP have actually sent four boys to the first cap. Be interesting to see what they're going to do from that position rather than just putting the one on there. I think they'll push up to the the center of the map to meet any crossovers. Yeah, probably. Probably try and get a foothold on that um, that ridge line through the center of the map. And as we saw yesterday, that that center point, the center ridge line, really was an absolute battle, and the team that controlled that got massive amounts of kills from it. Yeah, we highlighted that when um, HSG played Fubar. Um, the, the you know Doc East was very much championing the the, re the necessity to hold them hills because, like you said, you can really pick people out of the woodwork and just get your kills, get your fire down. So, Ghost looking pretty well set up already as they're pushing down, uh, and quite a strong force coming in from the north on storage. So, who just got? Lots of commander comps from these guys. Storage. That we're going west. Rip just starting to light up now with their various plans coming in now once that first cap's complete. East of storage, we got a contact about to take place in the center of the map. Contact east of Bowl, first one to go down on yep, Rip. First one. Look at that body flying. As we can see. Ghost just took that uh, key point on the ridge line, and they're getting most of the kills in this first engagement of the match. As we said yesterday, yeah, key terrain location. Eastern flank, be aware. That squad work Absolutely. Towards F will be. That's a squad for you, Dan. Yeah, a lot of rip bodies down already. Squad four just got wiped there from the north. We're gonna respawn there for B. Your jar all on comms there. That squad wiped there, coming from the north. Any fobs up for Ghost? Uh, no, uh, not a single no. one. <clears throat> okay, RIP have got one in Echo 8, keep at Ghost? 6. Ghost, I want to point out Ghost going for the quick yeah, steamroll. The There's a uh, yeah. ninja cap out to the east. They're making a run Blast towards Norm right now, and Blast they've got a massive back. amount of guys in storage already. To keep the pressure. We're going to see if we can manage. Going to direct you guys to the east as well. We've got a RIP squad now that's heading uh, away from the train yard to the north, and they've just come into a very close encounter uh, with just, a uh, small we, ghost we section of three them. guys that have just gone around them. Yep, I'm zooming over good. there now. We're hey, pushing back. We're pushing back. Yeah, yeah, what's Ghost, Ghost trying to do with those guys out there that are? I mean, that's four guys out of the fight right now. What do you, what do you guys east. predict on that? Yep, that's a. They're they're playing in way in advance right now. With judging by the massive, the massive push, well, not massive, but very fast and aggressive push on Nilrum right now, they're looking for a. They're looking for a shutout immediately. 
Yeah, as Doc said, they're just lying down there waiting for the call. Unfortunately, the ghost push on Nilrem's hasn't been to fruition yet with, with Rascal going down. Paradox and Key moving around now from the east, but Rip coming up in support of the uh, guy that's on the cap. I'm floating over Nilrim right now. You just FYI, there's a lot of dead dead bodies at, uh, Rip dead bodies at storage. Yep. They've only got two guys left up. Ghost still does not have any fobs. They might lose, uh, might lose some momentum here on Nilrim. Rip massing their guys on Nilrim right away, they might be able to push back Ghost and, uh, and stop that, that advance. We're getting smacked. It's, yeah, it's gonna be real close to Nilrim right. now. We're gonna get another fob up, or try and get another fob up. In behind them. Yeah, we're trying to break through. Ghost definitely uh, played a long game, though, with this squad out to the east like that. Yeah, so we're also getting some commander comms from Rip now, talking about getting up a fob behind the enemy lines now. So they can actually set up a proper flanking position. Yeah, that's squad three now that are just sort of heading across the centre of the map, south of Castle. I presume that's uh, that's their intention. Although the uh, Rip fob in Echo Eight is going down, Ghost have got eyes on, so it's going to be ten to two loss if they manage to uh, complete that take. Uh, we forgot to call to these guys that were calling the map at a hundred tickets. Should we go ahead while it's still so close like this to just put that out there? I think they know. We've had okay. it on our schedule for a while. Box, okay, we're at 299 on this side. 285. Yeah, we should okay. come at the fob. It's still pretty contested. Rip actually just saved that fob from going ahead. down as well. Sorry, Doc. Oh, no, yeah. I was going to say, if they get that fob. But they saved it, so... Yeah. Ghost has dropped a fob in the far southeast corner. Oh, trash. Wow. Basically outside of their main. They're getting awfully close there. Okay, so you see Rip now coming in from the northeast of storage, spawning on that fob that Squad 3 put down. There's a good uh, there's a good amount of them pushing in there from pretty much Ghost's blind side from the northeast. Could be an interesting move. Yep, only two yes. uh, two Ghost guys left here on storage. The rest a lot of, them, of Rip flooding in storage. The rest of them yeah, moving out to Nilrim. The, the, the village. We scan whole village, the rest of the squad are going to push in and see if we can take back Stuart's hit. Jeff Will there saying, hold on guys in the village, we're just moving into storage. I wonder though if, if we're going to get back into one of those dual neutral scenarios because there's so much rip pouring into storage right now and not a lot of ghost to secure that. Yeah. Okay, this one in the, um... Well, it's going to have to be ghost uh, reacting to that, that push on storage from the north here. Because should be getting overrun on storage, though, the amount of people that are about to hit him. If we get lucky, get a few good hits. Yeah, if I was on the ghost team, I'd have been feeling pretty confident up, right up until this point now. Yeah, definitely. They should be capping storage right now. The amount of people. I should look on squid for. Yeah, Rip actually doing a good job of keeping ghost pinned down on that west side as well. Jay Harry's gone down. But it could also be a. Eyes of defense against the pool. Lock on uh, Milrim here. Yeah, we're seeing those four ghost players really have killed quite a lot of the rip guys at that point. So, sorry lads, just so you know, we've got dropped down to 265 tickets here because that fob for rip in Echo 8 has actually gone down. Ghosts have taken that. We're at 296 on this side. You can see that already. 24 kills for Ghost. 5 Squad kills for Rip. Can we get Winsky, please? I'm patching him now. Yeah, Ghost probably, no, probably the top clan kill-wise. They're very good shooters across the board. Yep. They've got a lot of um, you know, very, very good shooters. So seeing this kill-death ratio isn't surprising personally. But Rip, Rip playing the objective game very well at the minute. I mean, Ghost have got a good spread on Nilrem, but it's going to be a double-double here. Ghost got uh, markers all over the east side of storage, marking where uh, they're they're seeing ghosts at, or seeing rip. Excuse me. So I assume here in a second though that they're gonna they're gonna neutralize storage. I mean they are very 
entrenched in the storage. pretty consistent on the village, and they started to cap and such. We'll see if we can get a foothold. Just, just, We've almost just try and hold them storage. off with cap and storage. Yeah, we are almost neutralized. Yeah, we will. Fifteen seconds. To Commander comes from rip there. They've almost neutralized storage. They also said uh, on the commander comms that Ghost has started to cap the village as well. Like Rip could be first to the punch with storage though. Friendly's inside. Good job, guys. Good job. Dude. We need a med. Yeah, the issue with that fob that uh, Rip had that's gone down is just gonna have to spawn in from main, and it's um, it's a pretty exposed run down towards Nil Run from there. So hopefully they can uh, hold off this neutral a little bit longer. Sporkle, can you hear me, dude? Yeah. Can you rush in here and get oh, him? He's just in the corner. I need a minute. Coming in. Medic. Coming in. Make sure and keep your gaze and storage safe. Spread out. Keep your gaze and storage. Out. Spread out, guys. Ah. Spread out. Spread out. I can see a couple of the ghosts falling back from Nilra and back towards storage. Finally reacting to that rip attack. Yep, only a couple of them right inside the AO right now. Rip doing a good job of uh, seeing a lot of their guys go down here at storage, but they're getting, doing a good job of keeping those guys in the fight uh, by utilizing medics, which is really all you can do if if you're up against uh, you know a clan that's going to outshoot you. You know there is a way to combat that, and that's just by having very effective medics getting those guys back up. We just need to get to the cap zone quickly. We need to get to the cap zone quickly. We need to recap this. Squad four, just hold them off. Yeah, they're they're commander comms discussing Squad the fact that they're losing back, storage, and some of push them are uh, going to fall push. back. So, I, I take it Rip has a fob just northeast of uh, storage. Careful, yes, they do. Of yeah. Storage yep. side, southeast of storage. Side. So it goes back to this point, you know, it, it, anyone can rush a flag, but it's all about making sure that you you do your steps. Building up to that to make sure you don't get back capped, which is what's happening there. Right. Ghost making right. a very strong push, you know, aggressive on Nilrim, but unfortunately they haven't put the places, uh, the steps in before to make sure it's successful. We need to get the storage gun in, we need to get the caps in quick. Coffee was getting heavy. Get him. Get him. Hey, Ghost leaving there, guys, on Nilrim to defend. Uh, it's just Paradox that's left it down there. We need to get Paradox the quick. Tim, I think. Or they're going to take behind. On no run. We need to... Get a ghost caught... Uh, sorry, Rip now, caught out on the northeast of storage. It seems to be just getting outflanked here by Saber and... Uh, Boomer. With it's Apache Game, off. Fitty Shades and a couple of others clearing oh, that geez, east storage. Geez. So they will be capping that back. Everyone has to fall Renato. back. Everyone has to fall back. Northeast. Now we're hearing that fallback command. Boy, if uh, Ghost finds that that fob, which I'm sure Saber did already, for Rip, Rip might be best off tearing that fob down themselves and moving it, because that's going to be another big point swing. Definitely. We're at 286, by the way. 239 for uh, Rip. Copy. Yeah, so most of these Rip guys down here at storage... Looks like they're going to have to push back on the village and cap that before they can uh, think about advancing. They won't be utilizing that fob that they set up early game out there in the uh, east. Yeah, Ghost definitely is marked fob up fob on their uh, on the yeah. map. So they're, yeah. they're definitely going to try to take that down. This fob's compromised. Yeah, you see them moving now, they're pushing. Yep. That's going to be 10 tickets down for Rip, unfortunately. Yeah, Jeff well, Lowe confirming that. If did, does Rip have any other means of spawning close, or are they going to have to go to main now? Uh, we have still got they're going to have to go for main now. I've got another fob in, um, we'll in uh, Juliet 7, we'll the but uh, that's yeah, not going to benefit. Yeah, you see them all pouring out of main right now. This is the point where you get, a, you get everyone together and say, look, let's just let's just hold um, Nil Rem for the minute, regroup, hold off the uh, the pressure and see where we can go from there. Definitely. Yeah, I'm only seeing... Go ahead. Sorry, go on. Go ahead, Matt. So I'm only seeing Paradox that's current. Oh, no. We've just seen uh, Trust as well dive into Nilrim now. Do you reckon that they can hold this off as till uh, they get more ghost reinforcements in? I think they'll <clears> definitely <throat> slow it down or make them more cautious of trying to get into Nilrim. 
Yeah, but they'll, they'll definitely buy some time while those guys, while those Rip guys come in from the south. That, that, yeah, that route that Rip are taken, uh, they're definitely going to get pinned down here shortly once Paradox and Trust get eyes on. See if okay, that, that, yeah. A couple of Rip actually inside the cap zone, so they'll be stopping that cap going towards Ghost's favor. Look at Trust right now, he's right next to two guys inside that building. Got Trust got one of them. Get the enemy will be under control, we're going to take it. Trust going to get that uh, other guy up there. That's Tim. So medic shooting his way to bandage up a guy. Careful, squad four. There's a guy behind us on the hill. Uh, Rip just put a fob down uh, just off southeast of Nilrim. So that is a closer spawn for them. But the again, they're going to have to cross open we ground. I need people with them. How many uh, tickets does Rip have left? 216. Yep. Looks like they still are trying to skirmish out there in the woods east of storage. The cap in the room still. Ghost is. In front of you, you are about 50, 60 meters to your north. Yeah, Rip yeah, will have to be quick. Like, yeah, like Blitz was saying, Rip's group's gonna have to kind of, you know, they got to sit back, pull back, consolidate, figure out what the next move is here, trying to take Neil Run back and secure the that. Quick. We need to push under the cap zone, no matter what. That was a good, uh, that was a good push coming around us north on storage, but, uh, Ghost was push. able to react to that and, uh, and, and change the pace of the, the match. A lot of red I'm seeing, a lot of Ghost guys here on Nilrim. We'll see if Rip is able to do damage here with these guys or if uh, Nilrim's going to stay in ghost uh, territory. Yeah, what you'll actually see as well is once this gets ne neutral, uh, the ghosts that are on storage, Prowler and all those boys over will leapfrog them to their last cap. I think one thing that Rusty just caught on camera was uh, a Yarl ran straight towards Nilrim and literally fell over Tim, one of the ghost guys that was prone in the grass. Yeah. And they were uh, very, very close combat there. And now we've got Ball and Key also exceptionally close. Yeah. In the weeds, right next to each other. Yes. Oh, and he's it's... going to try and bandage y'all. Yeah, it looks like he's a oh, medic. Wow. Yeah. He, he, he hears them right next to him. He knows he's there. Yep. There goes. Oh, oh good man. Kill, good kill by Ball. <laughs> very, very close. And he gets Pretty y'all back up. Yeah, ninja medic right there. That's that's a good uh the rascal and the cappers and same thing. <laughs> you see him just spraying the field. Oh, that was So Ghost is get, uh, getting those those key terrain positions locked down right now around New Rem uh we recap them. Those are some trackers sitting up in storage right now. Uh, negative. We need Ghost should be uh, flipping this here pretty soon. We're on the way now. Those um, those three rip guys over at storage are doing a very good job of making sure ghosts can't leapfrog them onto that last gap. I mean, they're, they're losing the tickets, but when you see ghosts start to move now from storage, get ready to get positioned on their train. They've held them off for long enough. Excellent smoke cover there for an assault on Nilrim. Yep, they've now got four guys stacked on this wall. I think that's the point. You gotta, you've got enough guys. You've got to start moving in and clearing buildings. Oh, and three rip guys there. You can see that very good grenade there from Ghost. Those guys were stacked up on that wall for a little too long, and they uh, they paid the price there. Very yep, good well placed grenade. It's always the hardest part of an assault, though, when you get on to ooh, another couple another of people two, down on Another two, another two down. Is that Paradox? It's Paradox dropping on GLs. 270 on this side. It's always the hardest part of an assault, though, when you hit that first wall and getting the uh, getting the guts to go in through that front door. What's your guys' ticket count? Uh, 199 for a bit. And Ghost beginning to camp back on Nilrim, so they're tracking. 
You can see all these rip guys kind of kind of huddling in on one house down there. Yeah, that could end up that could end pretty dang bad for him. Yeah, and Ghost is just kind of encircling them and just chewing them to pieces. Oh, there that yeah, they just went down. Paradox went down. Yeah, you've got so, to displace and get off of that position. It's it's right. it's marked by the enemies and they're sitting there prone taking these guys out. It's time for a different approach. I think. Yeah, it's a key example of you know holding the terrain and actually spacing yourself off of a defender actual objective. Both an attack and defense. That one grenade right there. Just yeah, they're still going down. Pile of bodies over here. 192 tickets now. Mike's just ran straight past the koala to get into that field again. Yeah, no one's seeing koala. Yeah, you can see Salkus there. He hears the AK. <laughs> Can't quite locate the, the the direction it's coming from, but he knows he's somewhere around here. Yep, he was pointed straight at him, though. That was the tragic thing. Yep, and now he's moving away. Koala now going in. Right through the middle of the Runs squad. right through the middle. Kneecapper picks him up, though, it looks like. Nope. <laughs> oh, koala. <laughs> Right. Ghost rushing, calling over comms right now to North pretty much rush the rest of their guys into no rim right now to lock them down. Yeah, and there's the flip. I'd push them down. Ghost should, you're starting to see them spawn up to the east now. Exactly Ghost, the they're gonna start pushing towards that, uh, the train station. Either spawning on that eastern fob and pushing it, or we're moving forward where they're at, at least one of the Yeah, with this push from Rip, the ghost needs to be careful they don't overextend. Just make sure that they do cap and hold nil rim. So if this Rip keep this pressure up, they might just stop that push over to uh, train. Two seventy two for tickets. 162. Enemy safe for the village. Yeah, some big numbers coming out of Envy. He's 18 and 2 right now. The squad force gonna try to make a foothold at the east uh, at the village. Just getting my units in. So Rip, you can hear him on the comms now. Pushed back. To the southern end of Nilrim, and uh, requesting to hold that area. Still in the field, skirmishing here, but Ghost really starting to move in. Lots of smoke too. These guys are definitely utilizing um, smokes to to move from smoke to smoke and stay in cover. Ghost coming in a uh, train station right now, I'm looking to finish this off. Yeah, Rip's still very scattered out in the fields here. 149 tickets remaining for Rip for this match. Right. Yep, I'm seeing that now. Ghost moving in on train station. That's still in fob for Rip has been, uh, been spotted. Ghost is pushing it right now to finish that off. Couple they know it's of, there. Uh, Couple of rip guys out here, um, just east of storage. I have more, most of squad four in the village. We're we not capping yet. Just be aware. Rip not doing anything to try and make sure they hold train. This could be a mistake with three ghosts already in the cap zone. Yep. Yeah. They are trying to push back on the village. For uh, for those of you who don't know who are watching, uh, it only takes three people to actually neutralize and cap an enemy captured flag. 
when you're first starting around, it takes one person to capture a neutral flag. That's a good point. That's why you'll see, like Ghost had done earlier, pushing this three-man squad out here to go for the long game to trying to neutralize rail docks right in the beginning. Um, that's all you need is those three. a little ninja cap squad, I like to call them. Just three people. Real low profile, real quiet, He's real fast. Down, cap, um, you can Everyone slip in and cap an objective way behind them. They're not expecting to defend right away. Oh, that's what Ghost is trying to do. Yep. Rip here, I just watched them dig up their fob. They are moving that fob or just picking that up and running off of rally points. Which is probably a good play here as they're coming down to 141 tickets. So for only 41 tickets left for them to lose. Until we call the match down at 100. Yeah, just just four rip guys moving back towards the train. Really should be the whole team just bombing back to try and save that bleed. Alright, we're about to neutralize train docks. Rail docks, there goes. Everyone needs to fall. IBK, um. do you see that server message? Yeah. You got tell him 2 p.m. on Discord. Yeah, right Down to 118 there. tickets for rip. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. What's our ticket count looking like over on the ghost side? Ah, uh, 277, sorry. 277, just FYI, I, I kind of got to step away, so you guys, uh, Docky's got the helm from this side. Yep, we got it. Last 10 tickets for rip now. Looking fairly for, fairly bleak for them now in the final hour. Right, they still have that next match, but we'll see what they're able to do when we switch sides here. Ghost will be U.S. Army, and Rip will be on that other side there. Yeah, Ghost now pushing full force through the forest into train. Ghost, for the most part, being pretty much uh, zero contact to try to defend this train station now. Very much an easy, uh, easy defense for them. They're pushing out south of uh, checkpoint. I'm down, Jeff. One ticket left there for Rip. And 99. Game. That's it. Who wants to call it? There we go. All right, so that's first round out of the way there. Ghost takes the win. We're going to switch up sides here, get these guys ready to go, and we'll be back very shortly here.